In a small, disheveled cardboard box, hidden within the dense undergrowth of Philadelphia's Fox Chase neighborhood, a horrifying discovery was made on February 25th, 1957. The lifeless body of a young boy, estimated to be around four to six years old, was found by a college student taking a shortcut through the woods. The unidentified boy, now known as the boy in the box, became the center of one of the most perplexing and heartbreaking mysteries in criminal history. The case captivated the nation and remains unsolved to this day. Upon closer examination, it became evident that the boy in the box had suffered immense physical abuse. His body was emaciated, bearing the marks of numerous bruises and scars that hinted at a life filled with torment. Gripping the public's attention, the haunting image of the bruised child demanded justice. Investigators embarked on a tireless quest to uncover the identity of the boy in the box. They meticulously combed through missing persons reports and interviewed countless witnesses, but their efforts yielded few leads. The boy seemed to have mysteriously appeared from the shadows, leaving more questions than answers. As the case gained national attention, the public's heartache and desire for justice intensified. Thousands of people attended the boy in the box's funeral, grieving for a child they had never known. The image of the small white casket, adorned with flowers, became a symbol of a community's collective sorrow and determination to find answers. Over the years, numerous theories arose in an attempt to shed light on the boy in the box's identity. Some believed he was a victim of child trafficking, while others suggested he may have been a victim of familial abuse. However, without concrete evidence to support any theory, the case remained mired in darkness. Despite the lack of breakthroughs, the case of the boy in the box fueled the creation of policies to protect vulnerable children. It led to the implementation of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, highlighting the significance of this tragic event in shaping child welfare initiatives. Decades passed, and yet the boy in the box's true identity remained a mystery. Numerous individuals came forward, claiming to have known the boy or possessing crucial information. Unfortunately, many of these leads proved to be unreliable, leaving investigators to navigate a labyrinth of false hopes and dead ends. In recent years, advancements in forensic technology have allowed investigators to re-examine the boy in the box case, Efforts to extract DNA from the clothing worn by the boy have been made in the hopes of uncovering genetic clues that may lead to his identification. The quest for justice continues, bolstered by newfound possibilities. The boy in the box remains a haunting enigma that has stood the test of time. Despite the passage of over six decades, the search for answers remains relentless. The memory of this mysterious child lingers, reminding us of the value of every life and the importance of unresolved cases in the pursuit of justice.